I can't link it since it's not. I'm not a sub, but uh, look up Trackmania A12 World Record History. There's a famous. It's 27 fucking minutes, brother. We can watch for a little bit. Saying in Trackmania that you can never reach the limit on a track because when you approach it, you only push the limit further away. In the world's most competitive racing game, there's no track that embodies this better than A12 Speed, where the pursuit of perfection led players to an incredible discovery. A discovery that would not punk. only change the course of history on A12 Speed, but the history of Trackmania nations forever, forever. This is the story of how Trackmania players made cars fly. <laughs> Trackmania Nations Forever was released in April of 2008. The objective in the game is to set the fastest time on any track you play, so it's literally made for time trial competition and speedrunning. The game has a campaign of 65 tracks, and with millions of players over the years, the world records on these 65 tracks have become incredibly prestigious to hold. Today we are taking a look at the campaign track A12 Speed to see how the world records have progressed over That's the years a small map, and what isn't innovations it? and trick discoveries allowed players oh, no, to push the track thought, to its I? limits. But just before we begin, I've noticed that a lot of my viewers aren't subscribed out and it lets To start off, let's have a look at the map. A12 speed starts out with a booster and a downhill, followed by a drop down into a checkpoint. It then continues with a right turn, another drop down onto the platform, followed by a long turn to the right over some more boosters, and the track ends with a series of drop downs into the finishes, taking That's around it? 19 seconds to complete. Oh, At no. a first glance, the track doesn't look that interesting. Oh, A12 yeah. Speed True. That's is a very response. straightforward track with only a few turns, and there aren't that many tricks you can do That's to save time. Is, uh... And because you're surrounded by walls for the entire run, there aren't many creative possibilities either. I see people Your cheating final in this time game. Mostly depends on how close you can drive speed to the walls before. and how you maintain speed in each landing. They would like to slow the down the game that complex, so they can take turns like incredibly on efficiently. It. And on the 16th of April 2008, the day that Trackmania right, Nations Forever was released, the world record on A12 was 18.87 by Fabian. Over the next few weeks, the speed even gradually moved further and further. And in June of 2008, the player Ichigo achieved an 18.81 second time on the track, driving extremely optimal racing lines and getting very close to the limit. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> this run would stand unbeaten for almost a year, until May of 2009, when Karyan manages at an 18.80 on the track. Whoa. One hundredth faster than Ichigo. <laughs> Amazingly enough, Karian hadn't used any new strategies, but found a small optimization in the first turn, starting turning a little bit later and getting a better exit towards the platform. He then followed it up with two great corners, and with that, took the track record one step closer to the limit. Jesus. Players at the time deemed that an 18.7 would be the ultimate A12 record, but gaining another hundredth on the track now would require perfection. But after all, that's what the players were chasing. On the 25th of August 2009, Alex set one of the most legendary world records from the early days of Trackmania when he drove this run on A12 speed. Damn, that was like so fucking nutty that it just looks weird. Then he clutches up too on it. When people saw the run, they were shocked. And what more was there really to say? Alex had gotten a better start than Karyan, followed by a pixel perfect first turn, having nearly no space at all between his wheels and the wall. And he then increased his lead to Karyan over the platforms, amounting to a 100th improvement. Needs some After Alex set his record, on it. things quieted down for the next while. 2009 and 2010 came and went, with no new improvements on A12 speed. 
nobody had even managed to equal Alex's astonishing record. The top 10 Damn, records at the look time at him. being Alex, followed by 9 players with 18.80. It seemed like the true limit of A12 had been reached, and players would have to start thinking out of the box if they wanted to beat this it. This shit is just like so fucking Streets 112. First, it's like a very slow, or so, small map. William had a well, very interesting idea to well. optimize A12 further. He thought there might be a shortcut on the track. You see, A12 speed is effectively one big turn to the right. And it only has one checkpoint, placed here. So could it be faster to simply take the checkpoint, climb over the road border, and head directly to the finish? <laughs> Many other players had tried this idea before him, as far back as in 2008, but no one had managed to save time with it. The idea was mostly disregarded as slower or not worth trying, but William believed that if the stars aligned just right, he could save time with it. He started going for the shortcut in 2009, and poured thousands of attempts at it over the next few years, gradually lowering his personal best time. Until finally, in January of 2012, almost three years after he started playing the track, he was rewarded for his effort and dedication when he got this run on A12 speed. Oh my god. Eighteen points. Everyone has to change their to strats now. Price except Williams. The shortcut did indeed save time. Not a lot, but just enough to be out of reach from the normal way. After Williams had his record, things How can you thought that you would be Other right by that small amount of time? To with the shortcut, and nobody wanted to go up against that kind of grind. But throughout 2012, things were drastically changing in Trackmania. A new trick had been discovered that was taking the game by storm. The bug slide. Players had discovered that by landing 90 degrees sideways and drifting, they could do a very sharp and fast slide. Holy shit! Drift, save several seconds on many campaign tracks. 90 degrees sideways and drifting, they could do a very sharp and fast slide while maintaining maximum grip. It could save several seconds on many campaign tracks, and if a new possible oh. bug slide was found, it was his car rider. Could completely change overnight, but the use of the trick was controversial to say the least, and many players saw it as cheating and were calling for it to be fixed by the developers. But eventually, it was decided that since the bug existed naturally within the game, using it would be allowed on the leaderboards. And in November of 2012, A12 Speed was the next track to be broken with the bug slide. Track man, did you guys see Trackmania's response? That instead of bouncing they were like, the listen, get like to the end of the down, fucking road, doesn't matter how. the car sideways on the drop down and perform a bug slide on the road border. Doing this would fling you further over the wall, and thus closer to the finish. And on the 5th of November 2012, the player El Musti set a new world record on A12 of 18.45. Holy shit, that's crazy. He kept so much momentum there. Most players <clears throat> were anticipating a world record storm after this discovery, but it didn't really happen. The bounce shortcut had taken William several years to perform, and though the bug slide made things a bit easier, it was by far not an easy shortcut to do, and no one managed to beat Amosi's record at the time. <clears throat> but half a year later, in April of 2013, Jesus. the same group of French players made another discovery on A12, <clears throat> and this one was groundbreaking. They had discovered the Ramstein bug. <coughs> in Trackmania Nations Forever, every track is made up of individual blocks that are connected together to form the racing track. But due to developer oversights, there's a lot of bugs that can happen on the connection points between the blocks. Every roadblock in the game has this curve on the sides that players call the Ramstein border, which okay. is slightly elevated compared to the rest of the road. Uh. At the connection point between roadblocks, exactly where two pieces meet, there's a small window where one part of the Ramstein border ends and the next one begins. Okay. If you drive over that connection point, 
your wheel can crash into the start of the next block's ramp sign border. Cause you to Causing slide. the wheel to lift into the air. Oh my god. This is god. known as a ramp sign bug. This bug used to plague Trackmania's competitive scene for years. As if you were unlucky and drove over the connection point in a match, you would immediately lose control <laughs> of your car space. and most likely lose the round as well. But on A12 speed, the Ramstein bug was a blessing. As the French players discovered, it could be used to their advantage. On the fateful day, April 28th, 2013, the Trackmania world was flipped on its head when Trabadia uploaded this run to the leaderboards. Seventeen point ninety-eight. Everyone was just stunned. What? And everything that was thought to be routine to the so his back wheel pops off of this thing right here because of that thing, right? Yeah. You wouldn't think it would be faster because he goes so fucking far, but he just like whips it back and. A bug slid out. 17.98. Everyone was just stunned, and everything that was thought to be known about A12 was thrown out the window. Trabadia had drifted over the Ramstein border and hit the connection point with his back wheel, mm -hmm. causing it to lift into the air. And the extra airtime he got made him avoid crashing the checkpoint. He then bug slid over the road border. Spun around, he bugs like and landed twi twice. perfectly to do another bug slide on the grass, setting a new world record by almost half a second. A12 speed was now open hunting season, and players yeah. rushed to the track to try to get the world record. Galax would be the first player to beat Trabadia, setting a 17.91 almost immediately after. When a new track comes day, out, he improved again down to a 17.41. Wow. The next day, things would get even crazier, when Tokugo ah! found an improvement to the strategy. Oh my Instead God. of crossing the ramp sign from the right side, Tortugo crossed it from the left. This trajectory let him land further to the right on the road, and he, and fucking he could go a sharper bug slid out. than the others, making him land closer to the finishes. And with this strategy, he achieved a time of 17.12. Holy shit! In just two days, the leaderboards had completely shifted. And the world record had gone from 1845 to 1712. But now it was getting hard to see how the track could be optimized further. Were players finally getting close to the limit on A12 speed? Well, as the old saying goes, when you approach the limit, you only push it further away. And I get it now! They were about to reach the limit on A12, they Dude, the perfect example amazing. of that is Ocarina of Time any percent. That's crazy. On the well, 30th of April 2013, Reba started driving a run on A12. He had seen the recent hype on the track and wanted to give the shortcut a shot himself. When he went down the hill, he got a big lift from the Ramstein bug, going further to the right than anyone had before him. He landed on the road and did the bug slide like everyone else. But when he hit the road border, oh, his something top was came different. Up. Because Reba's got a massive speed boost. And all of a sudden, his car went flying up into the sky. Right next to it. Oh, it took a moment for Rebus to realize what was happening, pink. that this could potentially be a world record run. But when he realized it, he was headed straight towards the billboards, and a crash was unavoidable. He gathered himself as best as he could and quickly dropped down to the grass. And driving towards the finish, all he could do was stare at the timer slowly climbing up. 14, 15, 16, 1691. A new world record by 21 hundredths of a second. That is fucking nuts. He went right to. Imagine if he landed like at the finish. The 
This run left every Trackmania player speechless, some by the sight of a car flying half across the stadium, and others by the raw potential that had just been unlocked on the track. The Uberbug had just been discovered on a 12 speed. This is a graph of Rebus's speed during his run. You can see that here, his speed jumped from 300 to almost 500 km an hour in an instant. That is known as a Uberbug, and it's what sent Rebus flying across the stadium. Why this speed boost happens is still an unexplained mystery in Trekmania to this day, but how the Uberbug worked was quickly understood. By bug sliding with a sharper angle than 90 degrees and hitting a wall, the game does some miscalculation where when you crash, you gain speed instead of losing it. And if the nose of the car was pitched slightly above the road border when this miscalculation happened, you'd launch into the air. This was the formula for making a Trackmania car fly. Still, getting the bug was not at all easy. It could take players several hours just to get one speed boost, and where you'd fly to <laughs> is impossible to predict. But given the huge grass area to land on, any successful bug could be fast enough to set a world record. Everyone's attention turned to 812 speed, and the hunt for the record was on. And <laughs> she took the fuck off. 1586! Oh, he controls it well. He's going to bug slide out. No, he doesn't. Maybe he didn't want to risk it. Oh, my God. Bug slide it. Looks like he did. Oh, my God. Imagine. Someone's going to land on it. Someone's gonna land on it. For the first four years of 812's existence, the world record had been improved by three tenths of a second. And now, in the span of a few hours after the Uber bug was discovered, the record dropped another two and a half seconds. Trackmania was entering a new era, and no track characterized this better than 812 speed. The game had gone from being a simple racing game, only about who could drive their car closest to the walls, to players now using every known bug in the book to squeeze out as much potential as possible. <laughs> this was the modern age of Trekmania. You know the guy that got the monster. original records fucking bitter about but that. Like, this man, fuck that game shit, of limbo, dude. how low could the players really go on the track? It seemed like there was only one thing left to do to completely optimize A12. Yeah, well, and that was to Uber bug directly into one of the finishes. Most Uber bugs on the track tended to go towards the right. Look at all those guys that got really good at it. To the left. How crazy no is that? Had managed to go that Look far at all the guys that can do that now. There was no way of knowing if it was even possible. But over the summer of 2013, many players grind the track for hours on end, chasing the dream direct finish run. But none of them managed to get it. Sometimes, miracles happen when you least expect them and they happen to the most unlikely of people. On the 26th of August 2013, Steph started playing A12 speed, and after playing for less than 5 minutes, he got this legendary run. Less than 5 minutes? He's like, dude, am I doing it right? <laughs> oh my god, bro, it doesn't get better than that. Five minutes. 12.13. Steph had flown directly into the finish on A12 and completed the track almost two seconds faster than anyone else in the game's history. Some players had tried the track for hundreds of hours, doing thousands of attempts, and Steph had gotten <laughs> a 1 million bug after just a few minutes of playing. To most players, this was it. The ultimate A12 record. The track was widely considered done, and almost no one tried to challenge it. Years passed without much activity on the leaderboards. Some players got close with one-off runs and occasional sessions, but the patience and luck required to beat stuff just wasn't worth the effort. 
Most oh, players had moved on to hunting that other That didn't tracks, land, right? He has to be in the red? had quit Trekmania entirely. Uh -huh. In 2017, Staff's record became one of the 10 oldest world records in the game, standing unbeaten for over four years straight. The oldest Trackmania world records are the most prestigious to beat, and this made the track a target for record hunters. And as time went on, the luck factor on A12 actually became appealing to some players. You see, most other world records in the game required immense precision and skill to beat, and were way out of reach for anyone except the top players. A12 speed, however, was an all-out Trekmania lottery, and technically anyone <laughs> could have a jackpot world record with enough luck. This all accumulated in the month of May 2018, when the Trekmania community decided to make an organized oh, effort my guy. to try to break the record. That month, players gathered from online every the night man. and played A12 oh, we'll together, to with the collective goal that if they tried for long enough, someone would beat the Halo record. 2 runs a little while, right chat? Tinky Binky! Holy shit! Oh no! <laughs> After just three weeks of playing, the group had finally succeeded with their goal, when on the 18th of May 2018, MC7 achieved this Yo, record. After this video, look up Impossible Trackmania shortcut finally done after 13 years by the same guy. It's so crazy. He'll put this one to shame. 1202. 1202. A new world record by 11 hundredths of a second. An amazing achievement and the result of an incredible effort by the entire community. But even though the group had succeeded, the hype for A12 didn't stop. The hype only grew further. Oh no. Players wanted to push the track to its absolute limit and break the 12 second barrier. <laughs> A few days later, on the 27th of May, Hafez got very close Humans, to just Humans. that when he got this run on the track. Oh man, it launched him like straight away. Like it like super launched him. Oh, In that's heartbreaking. Hefes tied MC7's record to the millisecond. And commenting about his run, he said that he got it in a strike of luck three minutes into his session. This was becoming a common pattern on A12. Interesting. Lucky players setting a great time within their first few attempts. A reason for why this seemed to happen so often is that only the lucky succeed on A12, and unlucky players who spent tons of hours without any results eventually got discouraged uh, and stopped uh. trying. But there was one player who was determined to beat the record himself, no matter how long it would take, and that was Trinity. Trinity started playing A12 way back in 2014, originally just wanting to pull off the shortcut once, but after he got his first shortcut time, he was hooked on the track. And had a sight set on the world record. Over the next years, he put hundreds of hours into the track, trying to replicate the Uber bug others had gotten in just minutes of playing. And on the 30th of May 2018, after playing the track for over four years, his determination finally paid off when he got this run on A12. This has to be the end, right? He has to be the guy. Look at all the tire marks. Oh, you know he's having a fucking heart attack right now. 11.91. He said, oh my fucking god. 11.91. Breaking through the 12 second barrier and finally getting the world record on A12 speed. Trinity's record is the result of the most extensive world record hunt by a single player in Trackmania history. In total, he played the track for over 600 hours which amounts to about 250,000 attempts. And still, he didn't give up. It may seem silly to put so many hours into a world record in a video game, but let Trinity's 1191 stand as a testament to where raw willpower will get you. If you're determined and remain patient and believe in yourself, then it is possible to beat the odds and accomplish any goal. This is perhaps where the story should have ended. 
that players weren't done on 8th ball. <laughs> Half a year later, on the 13th of January 2019, the player soft. Oh, they're doing a co op playthrough? And out of the blue, he got. Oh, no, he has to use two controls on this part or something. Man, it launched him immediately. He got one of those crazy launches. There it is. That's the best you'll get right there. That was 11.58. 11.58. Soft had gotten a lower and faster Geeber bug than Trinity, straight into the closest finish. Somehow beating one of the most contested world records in the game by 33 hundredths of a second. People were blown away by this improvement and called it the Trackmania world record of the year and exclaimed the track as maxed. But as that old saying goes, it's when you approach the limit that you push it further away. And when players thought that finally, the absolute limit on A12 had been reached, oh my one player God. came along and did the impossible. One week later, on the what? 20th of January, 2019, <laughs> Dude, the community... I never want to get a world record. ...when half Again. achieved this legendary record. Oh man, he got the crazy launch. Ten sixty-one. There's nobody beats that. No, is that the record right there? It has to be. Yeah. It's to be seen, but it as of today. And the nearly two years after, many new players have entered the top 10, but Hefe still holds the world record by the same margin, and whether or not it will be beaten again remains to be seen. But if we've learned anything from history, you should be very careful to think you've reached the limit, because more often than not, you still have a long way to go. A sincere thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this video possible. Okay, that's kind of crazy.